after a Boston police officer was shot yesterday afternoon in the city's south end. The officer is expected to be okay. Well, one of the suspects allegedly part of the crime from Rhode Island. Erica Ritchie with us this morning as we learn more now about the suspects identified. She's in the newsroom now with the latest developments. And good morning, Patrick and Danielle. He's 35-year-old Antoine Mack of Pawtucket, now facing several charges in connection to that shooting. The officer shot in the leg, as you mentioned, expected to be okay. It started as a routine stop, we're told, in Boston's South End yesterday afternoon. Investigators say officers patrolling the area noticed a double-parked car with blaring music on West Springfield Street and approached two men sitting on a stairway nearby. That's when police say the men immediately got up, clutched their waistbands, and rushed inside, barricading themselves in a common hallway. It's when the Boston officers with the Youth Violence Strike Force finally made their way inside, things got ugly. Eventually, the officers gained entry into the common hallway where they were immediately fired upon um, by a suspect. Unfortunately, one of our officers was struck in the calf. It's a non-life-threatening injury, thank God. And again, Antoine Mack of Pawtucket arrested in connection with the shooting, along with another suspect, 21-year-old Rakan Martin of Boston. Both are facing several charges, including armed assault to murder and illegal gun possession. They're set to go before a judge in a Boston courtroom later this morning. In the meantime, uh, Commissioner Gross is using this as an opportunity to offer a message, not to the bad guys in this case, but to you. We'll have that coming up in the next half hour. We'll see you then. For now, live in the newsroom, Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.